else you come off of here, fish. My leader's kind of chasing, so I'm so worried he's going to break it. So, this is the east wind today. Blowing in five, ten knots, maybe. Two foot seas, really nice. Uh, we're about 50 miles offshore at the R2 tower. And, uh, we'll pull up here. Drop some bait down, try to get some Meridian snapper, black sea bass, maybe trooper, red snapper, some hot season for those. So, can't keep any of those, but it should be a good day. It's nice and calm. This, this red right here, that's hard bottom, like rock bottom. Um, so when it's like a sandy bottom, it'll be all broke up and divots in the bottom, stuff like that. We'll pull up to this tower and drop a few squid down and see what we can It's so crazy to be out here and doing some saltwater fishing. You know, we're used to bass fishing. And he's like, yeah, it's opportunities endless out here. We can catch a bunch of different fish, which is crazy because when we go on the water, you know, we go on a bass lake. I mean, you can catch your bluegill, you can catch your catfish, you can catch your carp, you can catch your bass, your striper. But at the end of the day, we're just going out there catching bass. So the cool part about today is it's a mystery. You know, we don't know what we're gonna catch. We're, I'm sure we're gonna catch a bunch of different fish. And this is new to me. This is something that I've never done before. And uh, I'm just pumped about it. Never been this far offshore. I've gone bay fishing three times with my boy Mark. A big shout out to him. We'll be filming a video with him soon. But went red fishing three different times. And uh, this is just so new to me. So new to me. I'm excited about it today. If you guys are new to the channel, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. And also, if you want to see some more saltwater videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button. Um, I'd love to come back out here and do this some more. A lot of fish. So I'm gonna pull it. Let me get a little closer to the tower, yeah. and then if only I want to drop it down. So what are you slapping? Just, just dropping it right down. Dropping it until you hit, feel bottom, and just lock it up, and just kind of bounce it right off bottom. And this isn't the best spot right now. The good spots are gonna be when we go over to that reef. So I'm old bass fisherman now. So yeah. I'm doing anything right. wrong. Just... <laughs> no, nah, you're you're good. You're good. I mean, you don't really have to jerk it like that. Just kind of little... feel bottom with it. If you don't get anything out here, it's, it's pretty quick fishing. If they're there, they're there. If they're not there, then we'll, we'll move around. We may run on over here to this reef then because I'm not going to spend a bunch of time messing around this tower. Like when we get over a good bottom, it'll mound up. When we get over here over this reef, this for these reefs, you'll you know you'll be able to see the core heads, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's a decent little spot. It's nothing we're not, we're not gonna worry about that. Like that right there holding bottom, that can definitely fish. Not a lot of them. There's fish down there. Right before it humps over right yeah. there. Yeah. Got him that time. Yep. Yeah, I felt him hit it right there. Oh, nah, I don't think it's anything crazy. Down behind door number one, we have a black sea bass. He looks like he may be a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Nice. Can I grab, can I lift him? Um, he he's, head? Got, he's got a little bit of teeth. But um, what you want to do, I like to use this rag so I don't yeah. get my hands all slimy. And then I'll show you. Hold on, hand them to you in just a second. Put your rod back in the rod holder. Hey, we still kicking their bass. <laughs> Got the sea bass today. <laughs> so these guys kind of like a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. Their gills, it's okay. You can hold them like this all day long. Yeah. But his gill plates right there, super, super sharp. Super sharp. Yeah. You can lip him. But you see his teeth, I mean, it's kind of like bass teeth. What in the world? What is that? That's his stomach. From it, because he, he's coming up from so really? deep. Really? Yeah. Wow. And see, it's going back down. He's not really deep, but when you when you pull a fish up from real deep like that, um, it, it just, all the really? pressure come, from sure coming up. Look at that. That's crazy. So, these fish, these are a, a 
deep, not a really deep water fish, but they're a really good fish to eat. Really cotton white meat. Um, let's measure nice. him. It's first sea bass of the day. So there we go. We got our first fish today. It's a sea bass, which is hilarious because you know kicking the raft out here on the salt water. Um, we're gonna see if we can find some more fish. Hopefully, we'll get into something big today. But that just feels good. That's my first ever offshore fish, right there on camera. Got him. Yeah, I believe so. It's hard to tell with this big rod when yeah. you got the, the thing on there. I don't think so. Yeah. What is Squirrel that? Fish. That's a what? Squirrel fish. Squirrel fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can live. Yeah. Always just. I mean, there's a lot of fish out yeah. here that do have teeth. That can I mean, they got teeth, but it's not. Yeah. yeah. But that little guy, he's. He can't do anything to you. Yep. Oh, that's a pretty fish, too. Yeah, see his blue line. Yeah, his teeth are sharp. Sharper than. Are they? Sharper than the other. Look at that fish, it's the markings on him, and there's blue glow to him. Look at that, that's so pretty. Hey, he's got some little sharp ones on him. <laughs> Nothing crazy. See that? We'll start catching other stuff. The more, the more you fish. Yeah, I got one. Yep. You got one too? Nice. Pretty. Kicking their bass on the sea bass, boys. I don't know what that was. That was, dude, that was, I got too excited and I, I went up with him, but that's something big. Is. That's something big, brother. Yeah, that's a fish. That's the best one today. He's got a little bit, a little bit size to him. Oh yeah, yeah, that's something. I don't know what it is, but dude, he hammered the mess out of it right before that. It's natural, probably. I don't know, it's not nothing super big, but I mean, yeah. compared to what we've been catching. Right. Let's see, he's coming up. Oh, what do you got there? What is it? Looks like a red snapper. What we got? Oh my gosh, it is. That is awesome. Dude, that is sick right there. That is beautiful. He's a juvenile. Nice. Look at that, guys. First red snapper ever. That is crazy, man. Look at the colors on these fish. Just so beautiful. I always see my buddies, you know, holding pictures of these, but to catch my first one right here, nothing big. Still got a little fat belly on them. I gotta be careful with what I'm poking, dude. All these little tiny, not not like all the bass, but got some little sharp fins on them. Pretty fish. There it goes. Uh-oh. What we got? Uh-oh, I'm hooked up to it. Yeah, that's something bigger. Oh, yeah. Get back in there, man. <laughs> get back in there, man. <laughs> yeah, he cut me up. They'll cut you up pretty good. Yeah, they'll get you. He's got off a few snapper. He doubled up on some. He actually got me pretty good. Side of their gill plate. Sliced me open pretty solid. A couple little spots on my hand, but hey, that's fishing. It is what it is. 
grab us a piece of this delicious squid. This looks amazing. You want a bite, Cody? Yeah. Just a little bite? Some. Yeah. I'll save you a chunk for later. Just a little snack, you know? Ooh. That's actually the piece I had my eye on. Was it? Yeah. Dang. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get you a fresh one in a bit. They pull hard. Dude, that's big, bro. Yeah, there you that, go. That's big. <laughs> <laughs> that's big. It has to be bigger than those other ones, man. Oh, we got a sea bass. That's a dang Big good one. one, dude. I mean, oh yeah, Stud, dude, dude, look at that one. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> look at oh, he's a dumpling. <laughs> look at that fish. That is a stud. What would we call that in bass fishing, Cody? That's, that's a, a football, brother. That's an absolute. That's football. a football. He's just got a huge head on him. Kind of a little fat tummy. His tail is just a little skinny, but that is just crazy. I just love the markings on these fish. You know, they're beautiful and got that light blue on top of their head. Man, you can't beat that. That's the cool thing about coming out here and what I've realized very quick, the colors on the fish, they're so pretty. But that's fun to catch right there. We on another stack, guys. Let's see if we can get something good. By the way, I got a little band-aid on my thumb. I, he offered, I was like, you know what, might as well. Yeah, they're, right. okay. yeah, they're stacked. We, we gonna catch them. Oh it. wow, that's I mean, big, man. ain't it? Yeah. Did you see that? Did you yeah. see how hard he hit it? That's crazy. God, oh my God, he just pulled off. No way. Yeah, he just pulled off right there. No way. He pulled off or either broke broke off. No, he pulled off. Oh, that was oh, a good man. one too, wasn't it? Dude, he almost snatched the pole out. Man. Oh. Is it? heavy but he's not really you know putting up that fight that one that you just had man that was a that was a good one yeah. sea bass big one i mean keeper looks like maybe you know yeah he's probably a little short he's probably 11. it's probably going to be 11 or 12 inches well not 13. All right, here we go. Big one coming up. You ready? You gotta get some redemption on the last fish too. You gotta get it. Let's double up on two good ones. I feel it. I really do. He ate it on the fall, dude. Right, right when it hit the bottom, I felt him tap it. That is so crazy, guys, that you can just do that. He's fighting a little bit different than anything we hooked today. I don't think he's really big. I'm kind of huffing him in though. It's probably only 10 inches, but it's just so funny. Out here catching sea bass. Never thought this day would come. I'm having a blast. Like this is just, oh my gosh. Look at that graph, Cody. Dude, that's a big one. Nah, uh, maybe not. Oh yeah. Hey, that's that's a good one. I think so. He's fighting really weird. Oh yeah, dude, that's a lot bigger. What's that? Ten years ago, you could keep that fish. Really. So when did that there change? There was no season on them. Um, it would have been sometime in the early, mid 2000s, I think. Really? I, I mean, I don't know exactly, but it, um, That's interesting. they put a season on them. Can we use your towel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Show, me, show me what you do. So you quick. I mean, you're little, catching a lot of fish a day, I'm assuming yeah. that's what you're doing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we come out and catch them for the restaurant, catch a bunch of them. So you just put a towel and just... Yeah, just grab them. I'm sure they'll beat you up, man. You're catching that many fish in yeah, a day. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. You put up a little fight. Yeah. We'll fight a little harder than them sea bass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. What a professional. Nice. That's a big one, ain't it? Oh, <laughs> dude, you got him right there. 
Oh, don't go in the hole, baby. Come on, pull that jack. Let's try. Oh, don't you come off of here, fish. My leader's kind of chafed. I'm so worried he's going to break it. Oh, it's a big one, too, ain't it? Yeah. pressure him too much. I've got him off bottom, bottom, so I think I'm okay there, but he's he dumped it a couple times. This has got me a decent grouper. These are a monster red snapper. Could be a could be a big amberjack. Oh dude I'm excited. Dude he is fighting. He's Pulling. He's coming. It doesn't feel like an amberjack though. Feels amberjack. like a snapper. Yeah. Or either a grouper. There he is right there, whatever it is. Holy cow. That's the ones you want to come get. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's more like it. That's a big one. Yeah. These are a little easier to handle than those smaller ones. Oh, yeah. There That's we go. Snapper. That's a snapper. <laughs> Let's go. That's a big one. There he is. Probably, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds, maybe. It's a good one. Good, good one. That's a really good fish. Oh, yeah. Got it? Yep. <laughs> Dude, that was, a, <laughs> that was a good that one. That was a good one. Well, we are off the water now, and let me say that that was a really fun trip. It was my first time going pretty much offshore, you know, way out there. We went out around 50 miles, and um, we caught a lot of fish today. You know, we caught so many fish that I promise you not all of the catches will be in the video. Um, we ended up catching some sea bass, some red snapper, some squirrel fish, and then a rock bass. And those, all four of those right there, I've never caught one before. So, caught four new fish today and just had a great time. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Big shout out to Justin for taking us out. Awesome. So big shout out to my man Cody for uh, hooking this up, man. This was a good course, time. Dude. This was, was a good. this was a trip, and uh, he's getting some last minute drone shots. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys want to see some more saltwater content, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button. Rather than that, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for the support. Peace.